Alright dudes, how's it going? I said in the last video, what the fuck, oh, I hate it when I'm talking on intro screen and it goes off into some kind of fucking... Bastard. Actual proper intro, proper annoying. Anyway, what we're saying now... Yeah, I said in the, um, the last video that I might play another game before I do the lower area to I wanna be the guy. And he said I wanna be the dude then. So, I dug out Resident Evil. And after like an hour of fucking about and actually trying to get the bastard to run, I finally managed it. Only problem is I managed to get it to run, but recording it is an entirely different matter because <laughs> there weren't no like screen recorders back when Resident Evil 1 released. I mean, it's probably about 11 years old is this fucking game on the PC and Capcom has always done. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Capcom. Mega Man, Resident Evil, Street Fighter, fuck off. Where's well there I guess. But, um, they always do, uh, Devil May Cry, but they always do shitty PC ports. I don't know why, they seem to get the original game and don't do any effort to convert it over. It's just, it, it just seems like they emulate whatever platform it was released on, so if it's PlayStation, it's like they put a PlayStation emulator on the PC and just stuck the fucking image of the game over to fucking run on it. It's terrible. Fuck off, moaning zombies. Jesus. So yeah, they do piss poor ports, so I mean, this isn't an awesome part of the original Resident Evil really, but it's the um, the only one I've got, so, oop, it's the analog stick, not D-pad. Let's get in there. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. I'm not going to play Chris, Chris is the harder of the two, and it's not a case that I'm scared to play the harder version, because you know me, I'll play fucking anything. It's the fact that it's actually annoying to play Chris because you've got no ammo whatsoever. You've got to go fucking you have to go run around stuff or knife it and the knife is retarded for lack of better words. So fuck that we'll go with Jill. Old Jill Valentine. Now you're not gonna see any um, FMV. There's there is FMV enabled in this. But the problem is, Fraps doesn't seem to want to record the FMV, it seems to skip past it and do weird shites, so, um, no FMV. What is this? And there's no uh, subtitles either, so you might struggle to hear what's mansion. being said. I'll have to go quiet. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert. Okay, Wesker. I shall stay alert. Now, usually, when I was playing it before, it was actually... Shit up. I was going to say what else now. It was actually a speed problem on it as well, it was running at twice speed, but because I'm recording it with fraps, it seems to have cooled it down to the correct speed. Only problem is, you can't see what I'm seeing at the moment, which is black flickering every one or two seconds. It's actually quite draining on the old eyes, but fuck it, I'll tough it out for you guys. What? What is this? What? What is this? What is it? It's blood, you blood. dumb bitch. Jill, I know it's poorly rendered, but find any other clues. I'll be examining this. <laughs> examining the blood, mate. This is not Chris's blood. Well, unless you got some kind of DNA test on me, you're not going to fucking find out by looking at all the. But yeah, whatever. And also another bug was it. You can usually go out with that. Oh, I'll actually show you. Fuck off, clock. See those double doors there that I'm pointing at. You go out there and there's like a little FMV sequence, but it crashes. Well, don't crash. It just locks up the game. So I've got to go out here. I can skip the doors. Wesker tells me to fuck off. Investigate if you hear any gunfire. I could just like, oh fucking hell, man! I just wanted to say hello. Like, see how you doing? Fine. Walks off right fucking sullen and pissed off. Oh, this is one thing at PC version you can skip the door sequences. You can't do that on PlayStation. You have to fucking wait every single time. And what do I do now? Oh yeah, now try leave again and burial say something. I ain't practiced it. I just fucking. There we go. It's Lost fucking... Well, I played for about 10 like minutes somewhat, just trying to figure out how to fucking not get it crash, crashing, even. It may still crash at some point in the future, hopefully it won't, but... <laughs> oh! I've picked up um, an emblem. Sweet. Oh, 
Barry's investigating. Good for Barry. Oh, what? Try to leave again, see if fucking... I've got a load of zombie inside here so it doesn't crash. Maybe more here worth investigating. Okay. Just the looking grandfather clock. Oh, there we go. Yes. Zomba. Hey, you! Stop! Run it, Jill! He's insane! He's insane? No, he's a zombie, man. You don't get insane zombies, they're just zombies. <laughs> Etch a cat Stangel, she's a proper whiny she's alright in Resident Evil 3 ish. But she's a proper whiny bitch in the first one. But I ain't playing Chris. Fuck that. Oh Wesker's Wesker! fucked off. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Fuck off man, I'll do what I want. Oh round here. What's the fuck? Why did he even put this bit in? There's no here. Oh. Triggered it off a sequence though. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. Nope. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen, if something happens... Let's meet up in this hall. This time I'll be there. Okay, I've got actually two problems with that. Why do people always split up in horror situations? What the fuck? Oh, I thought it triggered a cutscene there. Why do people always split up in fucking horror films and horror games, man? It just does not make sense at all. Say he's a fucking team, man. And secondly... Oh, turn the volume back up again. Secondly, fucking... Apparently Jill's the master of unlocking, but Barry gives her a lockpick. Huh? Surely she's the master of unlocking, she'd have her own lockpick. I mean, it's not like she could say, Oh, do you know, Barry, can you just hold me lockpick for a while? It's a bit heavy. It's a fucking lockpick, man. It's like... I can get to inventory screen. No, oh, she doesn't even have it on her anymore. She, she probably just fucking dropped it. She's like, no, I can't be asked for lockpick. Oh. Bet I can push that. As always guys, like I say, I've not practiced, but I do remember Resident Evil a little bit, but not massive amounts. I mean, it's been fucking like 10 or more years since I played this. Yeah, it's map of the first floor. Get down. Push that shit out at where? Get in there. I've even got my gun equipped yet, I haven't. Equipping a gun will help. Oh, zombie, yeah? So you just laid there, you don't intend to do up to me, do you? Oh, I don't know that. Get off! Oh, yes, nice, Jill. Boot his fucking head off. Ink ribbon? Nice. You use ink ribbons to save if you knew it was in evil games. Seem as though you save on typewriters. So, kind of makes sense, I guess. You're not going to be able to save with a banana or, um, a stepladder. Oh yes, you've used a lockpick. 